Hey everyone, Ashley Cheney here tonight with the Red Carpet Report. We're here at LACMA, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, for the STARS Emmy Consideration event for Counterpart. So stay tuned and see which interviews we've got lined up for you. Well, hi there. Thanks so much for stopping to talk with us tonight. No, at all. Thanks for having me. Yeah, certainly you're no stranger to the Emmy for your consideration carpets, that's for sure, eh? I've actually never been to one before. This is my very first. Oh, this is your very first. Well, I should rephrase that then. It's certainly not your first time working on a show that's Emmy nominated. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> so, I'd love to know, we obviously, uh, many of us know you from your work on Game of Thrones. Great job, by the way. Thanks very much. And uh, I'd love to know how you prepared for this role and what you can tell us about the character you play in Counterpart. Counterpart, I play a guy called Peter Quayle, who is J.K. Simmons' boss, who basically really does not want to be in this TV show. He's in real trouble and he's not equipped to deal with it. And he's kind of on the run from episode one, I would say. And he's fun to play, but he's not having a fun time. So, not having a fun time. What was it like for you working with J.K. in 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 that role, that dynamic, that role dynamic? Yeah, no, it was a real pleasure working with J.K. And I, I was lucky enough that I get, I was there in the first kind of episodes when doing those early scenes with both of his characters there at the same time. Which, when you get overlined the logistical aspect of that. It was just fascinating to watch and how he approached that. It was really fun. <laughs> and so you guys shot in Berlin. Did you have any exciting stories or memorable moments from Berlin as a city? And you must have been there before. I, I'd been to Berlin once before, and I stayed in a very strange fraternity when I was 18 on a, on a winter where it was so cold we could barely leave the house. And there were people, like, fencing in the attic. So I was, Fencing? No, yeah, it was very strange. So it was good to come back and stay in a nice hotel and do like civilized work for a change in Berlin. That seems to be the theme. Everybody talks about how cold it was. And it seems fitting with the show, right? Because it's sort of a cold and austere environment and world. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, the first day of shooting season two, which we're about halfway through now, was in Berlin. I was doing a scene with Richard Schiff. It was minus 15. Uh, we had like four different types of thermals and like people removing your Arctic jacket just before action. And your job, my job, I felt, was to remember my lines and don't shake. <laughs> that was, but then it warmed up. And Berlin's a great place to film, I have to say. It's really great. Other than the freezing cold, were there any particular challenges for this role on this on this show? Um, it's just it's just it gets more and more kind of complicated. The plot and the lies that my character has to tell to try and stay afloat because he's in trouble. So keeping track of that, I suppose, is is one of the difficulties for me and for him. <laughs> Thank goodness you only have to keep track of lies in your make-believe life, and real life gets to be truth, oh, right? My real life is just pure honesty. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, and congratulations on this evening. Thank you.